Welcome everyone. If you're planning on buying a home, you're likely to encounter real estate terms that are new and confusing. Today, we're going to help clear up some of that jargon so you can better navigate the home buying process with ease. So why is it important to understand real estate jargon anyway? Simply put, the more you understand, the more you're empowered. Being well-versed with these terms can help you negotiate decision-making and even understand your legal obligations better. Let's kick it off with some basic terms. Listing. Obviously, this is an announcement that a property is up for sale. MLS, or Multiple Listing Service, is a database for properties that are on the market. And appraisal? Well, that's basically the uh, assessment version of a property's fair market value very different from the tax assessor's assessment. The real estate industry loves acronyms, and they're also important to understand. ARM stands for Adjustable Rate Mortgage. This is a type of mortgage where the interest rate can change. PMI stands for Private Mortgage Insurance, which is typically necessary if you can't make the 20% down payment. FSBO, short for For Sale by Owner, meaning the property is being sold directly by the owner without an agent. Contracts come with their own sets of terminologies. Contingency, for example, this is a condition that must be met uh, for a contract to be binding. Escrow, this is when a third party holds something of value during the transaction process. And of course, closing costs, this refers to the expenses in addition to the property's price that are due at closing. There are some other uh, terms, slightly more complex, amortization. Uh, this is the process of gradually paying off a loan through regular payments. Capitalization rate. This is a metric used to measure the potential returns on an investment property. Oh, the big one, underwriting. That's how lenders assess the risk of a potential borrower. If you are applying for a mortgage, there are certain terms you should be aware of. Pre-approval. This is when a lender gives a tentative commitment to give you a loan up to a certain amount of money. A fixed rate mortgage. This is when the interest rate on the loan does not change ever over time. Principal. This is the amount of money you've borrowed for the loan. Not the same as interest. For those considering investing in property, it's important to know terms like ROI, which stands for return on investment. This calculates the profitability of an investment. Appreciation, this refers to the increase in a property's value over time. Cash flow, this is the net income from a real estate investment after all expenses are deducted. Finally, let's talk about property types. Single family home. This is a standalone or typically a standalone home intended for one family. A multifamily home. This is designed for multiple families. They can be two to four units or five plus. A condo or condominium similar to an apartment but is uh, sellable and is considered real estate. Not the same as a co-op, which is short for a cooperative. Well, I hope this guide helps make the real estate jargon a bit less intimidating. Keep this information handy during your home buying journey, and you'll soon be navigating these terms like a pro. If you need more personalized guidance or have any questions about terms not covered here, please call, text, email me anytime. Always happy to help. Your dream home is waiting, and we're here to help you find it. If you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. I will be posting more soon. and please share with others. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.